Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Extreme Z battle for the Super Saiyan Blue Evolved or the Transforming Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So this is the Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta and of course this is his easy A. Now the effective category is Mastered Evolution. Uh, and it is super tech and extreme tech uh, so pretty interesting category uh, I wouldn't say it's the greatest category honestly speaking but there's a nice way to work around it as per every other extreme Z battle you'll get one stone for, per stage you clear along with also receiving some blue Kai's as well uh, Vegeta himself gets a pretty good easy A uh, he becomes 170% pure Saiyan's lead, which is very nice. Uh, he gains a whole bunch of defense, uh, which is also very, very good. Uh, and his transformed state also seems to gain uh, more defense as well. So overall, he gets a very nice easy A, uh, something that's pretty solid and looks to bring him up to the current meta. Uh, obviously, you know, from a global perspective, I think this is slightly ahead of our curve because there's a joint celebration. Uh, but he looks really, really solid. And um, we'll get a look at him in a review video at some point. But yeah, Vegeta's looking very, very impressive. Now, it starts off, all types are effective. The boss isn't immune to stunning, etc. So there's nothing too crazy there. And the missions are pretty straightforward. Uh, finish stage 10 under 1 minute 40 seconds. Finish stage 20 under 2 minutes 15. And beat a stage above 20 with 3 mastered evolution category units on your team. Now, in terms of the mastered evolution category, there's only really one leader. And that is the strength super vegeta so if you don't have him uh, he holds up fine by the way the type disadvantage really means nothing to him and i'll show you guys that later uh, but if you don't have vegeta you have two options so you can either use the tech golden freezer uh, which is a pretty decent option 120 percent tech lead uh, pretty reliable good tank and will let you build the team quite nicely you can use the 130% super tech lead uh, under the form of the SS3 Goku. You can use the 130% extreme lead, but I don't really advise it. Or you can use the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. He leads Resurrected Warriors and Super Saiyan 2, which means it includes himself, uh, both of the Golden Freezes, and it also includes the SS3 Goku as well. Uh, so there's like enough, like, you know, um, there's enough layover from his leader skill to cover your group. Uh, overall, this wasn't too hard at all. Uh, as you can see here, um, team is pretty nice. So far, I'm using the Freezer as a tech lead. The only issue I do have, uh, to be honest, is just the free to play options aren't great for this one. The only really decent one is the Blue Vegeta from the Super Saiyan Broly movie. Uh, and that's really kind of right. it. Uh, all the other options are a little bit weak from a free-to-play side. So kind of not really too interested in it. Uh, the Int LR Prime Metal Vegeta falls off really quickly. Uh, because he is uh, in type and in type does get dropped off of the effective typings list. So it is a little bit of a mission to use him. Uh, so I don't really suggest using him. However, like I said, the Master Devolution Vegeta does hold up perfectly fine, uh, even though he's strength type. This Vegeta's Extreme Z battle doesn't seem to hit very hard. Uh, I had a Master Devolution Vegeta that was under only one leader type, and he still managed to tank a super attack in the final phase for less than 100k. And you'll see that on this video, but that just kind of stresses like how much damage Vegeta does and it, it's really not that much obviously yes Super Vegeta is really good after he supers and takes a hit but I mean still you know it's it's just not a lot of damage realistically speaking my number one damage dealers were my obviously you know easy aid freezer did a great amount of damage uh, the angel Goku did a good amount of damage but when I used the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta as a friend lead, he did a lot of damage. And if I had taken my own, uh, I would have also probably seen him do a lot of damage. So I feel like the double Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta strategy is the best one to go for, just overall. 
We're now on to stage 10. Uh, the boss is immune to stunning and reduction of defense, but our team's not going to change. Our team won't change the whole way through. It's going to be pretty much this. Uh, so there's no real need to change anything. It, it works perfectly fine. And yeah, um, this stage you know, wasn't really too bad in any way, shape or form, to be honest. So yeah, uh, it's really just going to depend on you. There's a lot of decent options for the category. Uh, you've got the yeah the Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta. Uh, that's the blue one, the blue tech one, the Resurrection F one. You've got uh, you know the Goku I'm using, his counterpart, the Super Saiyan God SS Goku. You've got um, the legendary Super Saiyan 3 Goku. All of those are really nice tech options. Strength is still also viable as well, so you can use units like the Mastered Evolution, you know, Super Vegeta lead like we're going to. Uh, there's a ton of decent uh, physical options, which is great. You've got the Worthy Rivals Vegeta, the LR. Uh, you've got Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. You've got uh, Limitless Combat Super Saiyan Vegeta, the transforming one. You've got the Blue Goku, the counterpart to the tech one, the physical one. So yeah, there's I mean there's plenty of options. You've got a couple of freezes there, final form freezes, etc. So yeah, you realistically have more than enough options to take on this stage with. Uh, you shouldn't really be struggling in any way, shape, or form. Like, well, I mean you should be struggling. It again, this is not you know content for new new players. Uh, these extremes battles do require you to have units that you have invested in you do need to have some kind of lead you do need to have orbs invest in them i mean i say that but my team you know is running a pretty good team i have a rainbow transforming freezer i have golden freezer like it is not necessarily the hardest extremes you've ever we've had but it is definitely uh, you know you will still need to prepare and and have things go your way uh, you're not going to be able to just waltz up and completed with whichever unit you want uh, you still need to follow the category requirements the typing requirements for the most part and and yeah it, it you just need to be smart with how you utilize your units uh, so that's stage 10 done we'll jump across once we get going on to stage 20 uh, stage 20 to stage 10 nothing really changes too much again our team remains the same as you can see he's now immune to ceiling uh, that's about it and attack and defense reduction in total uh, obviously at this point the boss is nearing that stage of you know I'm going to be invulnerable to all kinds of status effects and that happens here we're going to be using the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta as our friend lead um, yeah and obviously here you want to try and aim for completing your two missions uh, so your one mission being finishing a stage, you know, 20 or higher in less than 2 minutes 15. Uh, and then you also want to obviously finish the requirement for uh, using three or more mastered evolution category units. So that's also going to be quite important. Uh, and yeah, uh, basically it's going to come down to crits and additional attacks and things like that. I mean, if I look here, this Goku's under one lead and he's not going to take any damage from any attacks. Uh, it's just one of those things like the the stage is just not that hard um in terms of offense vegeta does get a little bit tanky which can be irritating for sure um and does obviously you know drain away a, a, you know it i don't like when they're super tanky because i find 30 levels of super tanky bosses is just not that entertaining I would rather the bosses hit hard and can be hit hard to provide an element of danger so that you know the fight is at least exciting when it's just three or four turns of me providing the same rotations doing the same work doing the same thing over and over it's not that exciting to me when i get to you know like have a bit of stakes in it or investment when i feel like my units might die and things like that i feel like it makes it more exciting because it means Yes, my stage might only last 30 seconds long, but it also means I may actually be taken out. Whereas this Vegeta fight, I never felt like I was at risk of being taken out in any way, shape or form. Uh, I just felt like it was taking a long time. And when you feel like something's taking a long time, for me, that generally indicates that it's just not that fun. Yeah, my team could definitely be better. I could have stuck down the different leads, etc. But, you know, that's not the point. The point is, is 
is that it, it just felt a bit draining. Um, you know, Vegeta's just kind of a little bit of a tank, but he, you know, having a lot of health and not doing a lot of damage doesn't really feel like, there feels like there's no threat level there. Um, which is what it is. I mean, yeah, Extreme Z Battles are here to give us awesome easy A's, and easy A's are fantastic, and I do love them, so don't really have a big issue with it. Uh, it's just something that I've more observed over time. But yeah, so now we're at level 30, pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, only tech, strength, and physical type units are effective here. Super and extreme though, so you do have a decent amount of options. But yeah, uh, I mean, just in general, like the stage really wasn't wasn't that challenging. Uh, Mastered Evolution Vegeta, only under one lead. I'm going to be using him as our friend lead, uh, just so you guys can get a nice, good example of how well he does. Uh, you can see him here. He's not under the tech, you know, Golden Freezer's leader skill, so that should be pretty obvious by the fact that he's a strength unit. Uh, and you'll see that he does, you know, more than fine, um, which kind of just shows like how well he does yeah he takes 33k in the beginning but then he activates his defense and then he fires off his super attack and yeah does some good damage actually because he's guaranteed criticals uh, and yeah you can see there single digits he'll take less than 100k on the super attack so like if you've got double master evolution vegeta you can just use him instead like the agl factor doesn't really seem to matter to him too much which is fine uh, i think it's really good Talking about SSBE's uh, Easy A, yeah, he's got 150% attack, he's got 100% defense in his base form now, which is very, very good uh, compared to what he had before. Uh, it's an extra 40% defense, which is great. Uh, he gains you know, uh, two super attacks and gains 20% defense now with each super uh, or each attack as well, which is great, uh, up to 100%, so he can gain a lot more defense, which is very good, along with his increase in stats. Uh, and then he's also got, you know, raises his attack and defense for one turn on his super attacks, and his transformation actually looks good now. Uh, so instead of his transformation having less defense, uh, overall his transformation actually has more defense technically because his transformation has 150% defense at the start of turn with an additional 100% defense upon super. He also launches two additional attacks which have a rare chance of becoming a super attack and he gains 10% crit chance up to 70% which is which is pretty good. Uh, they didn't really change that because it didn't really need to change. Um, you know, he can get up to 70% crit chance pretty easily. Uh, and he raises attack and defense for one turn on his super. So a very, very good unit overall. Easy A looks very good. And that's level 30 done. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I want to know your thoughts. If you're struggling with a team, if you need some help uh, or anything like that, of course, you can always ask. And I'll see if I can get back to you and assist you guys out. Uh, but yeah. That's pretty much going to be it from me. As you can see, we did all the missions, which is great. Uh, and yeah, but otherwise, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any comments, like I said, you can leave them down below. But that is going to be it from me, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, take care, stay safe, and as always, bye.